Okay, I apologise. We've been away a while, but everything is now fixed. Steam is working, the camera's working, the microphone's working. Crack on with the episode. Hello everybody and welcome back. I must apologise, it's been far too long, but as the intro suggested, Steam buggered up, then my computer buggered up. The camera broke, but it doesn't matter. Here we are. We were last together for the Bournemouth and Leicester games, where we won both games 2 1 back to back. Since then, we have had an eclectic form, I think is a good way to describe it. So we beat Norwich 2 0, lost to Man City 2 1. I mean, I'm not going to go through them all. You can see the highlights of high scoring game against Arsenal 6 2. We beat Watford 3 0, lost to Man United 4 0. We're on a pretty poor run of form at the moment um, off the last five games, two draws and three losses. But today we are playing Newcastle United. There isn't much more to say. We're going to do two, hopefully, if we have time, Newcastle and Chelsea. But January has been and gone. That's, see you later, January. That's, that's all over, that one. January is finished. But looking at the transfers, we have some players in. So, firstly, Mitzi Batch or Batshuai um, has gone. He's pissed off back to Chelsea he was utter utter so he's gone and Wesley Hodet has gone back to Lazio and subsequently I think gone to Crystal Palace yeah he's gone to Crystal Palace again he just wasn't getting game time so shoved him out the door their replacements though Matthew Ryan what a goalkeeper from Valencia I know from Valencia he has been easily our best goalkeeper ever at the club since I've been here really happy to have him in Adil Rami centre back French we all sort of know him uh, played at the Euros for a bit wasn't brilliant. He hasn't been brilliant in this save, but it doesn't matter. Wissam Ben Yedder in from Sevilla on loan. Um, he's been good in previous FMs, so I'm looking forward to seeing him play. Hasn't set the world alight so far, but yeah, he's he's doing all right. Fernando in from Man City. Uh, yeah, good. He's done well. He's played a few games for us now, too, and he's got 7.35, which is very good. Competition for Tom Huddleston. Jacarini was massively a panic buy, a panic loan, sorry, because. We were out of wingers. He hasn't done very well, but he's not going to be here. We're not going to get him afterwards. And Andre Ivan, a youngster who Barcelona bought and then subsequently didn't want. So we've got him in on loan for free. Um, two games, again, hasn't set the world alight, but plenty of time for him to go. Denis Suarez, Ciro Mobley, Ganzo, Dries Mertens, Cranvitter, Matty Fernandez, Chadley, Luis Adriano, Pablo Piatti, Forsberg, De Guzman, Matthew Valbuena, Adam Traore and Marouane Fellaini are all players that didn't want to move the whole city. None of those players are getting first team football at the moment at their current club. That's how bad Hull are. No offence Hull fans or the city of Hull or Hull City Football Club. But that's the challenge I've got on my hands. Basically, it's really hard to find players which is why you have to loan these sorts of players and pay ridiculous amounts for them like 350k for Fernando. Insane. Absolutely insane. But we needed players in, so he's in. Renato Sanchez. He's far too good for Hull City. There is no way we're going to get him again next year. I, I mean, 1.6 million for a season's loan is money well spent because he has been unbelievable. Averaging a 7.8, uh, 22 appearances, 4 goals, 5 assists, 6 man of the match. It, how he doesn't play for Bayern in this game, I do not know. Anyway, I've blabbered on for long enough. Let's get into our first live comp, which will be Newcastle. So I will see you on the game news screen. Okay, welcome back. So this is how we line up to play Newcastle. We are at home. Uh, the same formation, 4-1-2-2-1. Uh, Bardi in goal because Matt Ryan's on international duty. Odebajo keeps place at right back, but El Mohamedi is away on international duty as well. Um, Abel Rami, Maguire and Robertson complete the back four. Fernando sits in the, in the holding midfield row. Sorry, Sanchez and Livermore. Stalwarts in the team at the moment. Sinan keeps his place at right wing. Marin is back on the left and Hernandez starts up front on the bench. Ben Yedda, Ivan, Jack and Air, uh, Jack and Air, Jack and Ori, uh, I forgot what I, Emmanuel, Lucas, Huddleston, Eric Derm and Munir in a very attacking bench. Opposition instructions will go to the assistant manager again. He's doing a wonderful job. On to the team talk. Um, what should we do? We own Newcastle after our last match. Go out there and absolutely smash them. Have faith in every single one of you. Players, I'm going to tell you that all as you leave and run down that tunnel. 
I have faith in you. The same formation, going to stick with that. It's done all right. Um, I mean, you can see we're 12th in the table, which is pretty good for Hull. Um, and straight away, we've intercepted from kickoff, but this isn't going to go anywhere. Or is it? And no, Sanchez booed it out. Marco Marin's injured. Again, he's just come back. That was him and Cagliari, a twisted knee. I can't keep him on with a twisted knee. I mean, what is the point of paying him wages? I mean, I know they warned me before. I mean, I'm saying all of this. I'm going to try and buy him on a free transfer in the summer when his contract runs out. But it's just frustrating. Anyway, right. Munir is on to replace Marin in the first four or five minutes. Utterly ridiculous. But again, I'm sorry it's taking this long to get a video out. Now that the camera's back and Steam is working, we will be doing this more often. I'm hoping to get another one out either at the weekend or both, or just after the weekend because I go on holiday next week so there won't be a video then but Newcastle in the box and Adeboji has given away a penalty and he's probably going to get sent off because well he wasn't through yellow card yeah yellow card absolutely terrible start oh who's taking the penalty number seven for Newcastle is going to take it Sissoko oh Bardi goes the right way but he's put it in the corner Oh. There we go then, and the wonders of three easy. So Soko lines up. Bardi, oh, he was inches, inches away from it. Anyway, straight away, Munir with the ball in. Maguire couldn't get his head on it. Abo Hernandez gets there. Search, he brings it away from Fernando though. Robertson, great tackle. Fernando up the line to Munir. Right, we need to build the play. And what Munir's doing is running away from everybody, which isn't what he should be doing. Oh, but there's a great ball in. Oh, Hernandez is stopped by Cruel. Tim Cruel, good goalkeeper. Underrated, I'll say. Munir ball in. It's come back to Munir. He's gonna, no, he's going to let it go for another corner. Interesting. Can he do a delivery in? A better delivery. Sinan went for the header. It's come out to Sanchez on the edge of the box. Sanchez fires it in, but I, was, I don't know what that was. Whether it was a shot or he was looking for Munir. Who bloody knows. Whatever it was, it was terrible. But, yeah. So, as I was saying, I go on holiday next week. So, hoping to get two video, this video and another video out before I go. I can't promise anything, so I might put a time schedule video out that will come out when I'm on holiday. Um, but yeah, that's a massive ball forward from Adebojo. Abel Hernandez, oh, what a goal. What? I mean, route one. Nowhere in my team instruction does it say to play route one. But I will take that because that is a wonderful finish from Abel Hernandez. Look at this. Long ball over the top. Abel Hernandez is in. Left footed. Little dink over the keeper. In it goes. Side net in. Lovely goal. 1-1. One, one. We are back in this game. And we are going for it. Come on, the boys. Anyway, time is ticking down. We've got another highlight. Time's ticking down. 25 minutes in. And Robertson on the wing. Infield to Munir. Munir. Sanchez. He loves a goal. Livermore loves a goal. Clark gets there. And, oh, shit bags. Churchy's through. Churchy scores. Terrible goalkeeping. Terrible defending. I just don't want to see this in 3D. Hands up if anyone wants to see this in 3D. Oh, okay. you've all got your hands up. Okay. So, Sergi, there we go, simple finish, 2-1 Newcastle, just as I was getting all excited about getting back in the game. Ugh, this game is infuriating at times, isn't it? It is just absolutely infuriating. Odebajo, Livermore, into Hernandez, there's space, Sanchez, he looks well offside. He looked well offside. It's not offside. 2-2, two -two, fifth of the season for Renato, Renato Sanchez. It was... Oh, he looked, he looks off. He looked offside. I'm not too sure what that celebration was from Sinan. He was sort of eh, 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 like that. But sorry about you guys seeing that on the webcam and through the microphone. But we're on again. We have a counter-attack from a Newcastle free kick. They didn't play very well. Hernandez, infield to Robertson. Robertson, he's got all the way into the box. That... After he did that shot, I looked in the commentary and it said, Robertson hits one right-footed. That is why he's a left-back. That is indeed why he is a left back because he has no right foot. I'm going to look at him, Andrew Robertson. Right, I information. I'm pretty sure. It's left foot very strong, right foot weak. Just pass, just pass. I mean, I enjoy people shooting, but in that situation when you know you're that crap on that foot, just pass, pass the ball. Right, we're not going to change anything. Going to keep it going. Um, I'm going to tell them I'm, I'm happy with it because Newcastle are pretty well doing pretty well in the league, I think. So. We'll just keep it going. Newcastle are seventh, yeah. So they're having a very good season. Um, and now we've given it away straight from the kickoff. I'm hoping this fizzles out into nothing. There we go. Fernando clears it. 
There you go, end of the highlight, as per usual. Uh, so, guys, yeah, I've released a Football Manager 17 series reveal video. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. It's on my page. It's um, going to be very different. I don't think there'll be many people on YouTube doing the series that I'm doing. Um, we're taking NK Maribor. Oh, and Sanchez has missed an absolute sitter. What is he doing? My best player in the whole squad, and he's missed from six yards. Oh, balls. Um... I'll get back to my Foot Manager 17 series in a minute because here comes Matt Ritchie on the left for Newcastle. Uh, and he's up and he's had a shot from range and that's easy for Bardi to collect. I, shouldn't, I was going to say, surely that's not the end of the highlight. That was rubbish. Matt Ritchie, that was absolutely terrible. Right, while I make these subs, um, I will carry on talking about... Oh, Jacarini's going to come on for Sinan. Uh, my Foot Manager 17 series. So what it is, is NK Maribor and we're taking the Slovenian League to number one. That's what we're doing. We're going to try and aim to get Slovenia to be the best league in the world, which means staying at NK Maribor for a hell of a long time, winning numerous Champions League with them, getting the league to be good so that the, sign, the other clubs can sign better players. It's, I'm really excited about it. I've never done anything like that in Football Manager before. So hopefully you guys will enjoy it as well. What's your? Let me know in the comments what you're all doing for Footy Manager 17. If you're planning to buy it or are you going to stick with 16 and let it go longer? And this game is petering out into absolute nothingness. So what can we do to change it? Or what can I do to completely f*** things up? Um, well, Robinson had that terrible shot, so he's going to come off Eric down. That is what we're going to do. Let's see how that works. I mean, I've made an instinct sub based on something that happened about, what, half an hour ago in the game? We'll just have to see, won't we? Have to see how it goes. But Rami's picked up a yellow card. I mean, ticking down is... Well, we've got a highlight. Hopefully it's going to be for us. Oh, what a ball. Giaccarini. Oh, you absolute Italian. That's not an insult, I know. I, I didn't mean to insult him. giaccarini has got it again. Tackled well by Sissoko. Put out for a throw. Oh, that, that was the chance, I think. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the chance that would have pushed us ooh, even higher up the table. And this will be, I'm sure, the end highlight. So, I'm... Um, 2-2, two -two. it's a good result. It is a good result against Newcastle. They're having a good season. Oh no, we've given it away. Blow the whistle. That is fine. Okay, we've got it back. Keep it going. Keep the highlight. Keep keep this rolling, ref. Plenty of time to play. Munir has it. Oh, he's tackled. Blow the whistle. End it. Game over. There we go. 2-2. Two -two. I'll take that. I'll... It's not the best. I mean, we've battered them. We have absolutely battered them in the stats. Uh, who's that? Oh, Sinan, shut up. Look at these. Oh no! Look at these stats. Match stats. We've backed twenty-one shots to nine, eleven on target to their five. Clear-cut chances five to one. So it's we're creating the chances. We're just not finishing them. We are just not finishing them at all. Oh, twelve to fourteen days. So two weeks. And Renato. Shockingly, Renato Sanchez gets man of the match. I mean, who saw that coming? Right. Uh, I will forward on and I will see you at, I think it's Chelsea we play next, at home, which will be very tough. Okay, here we are on the game screen. This is how we line up. Matthew Ryan is back from international duty and in goal. El Mohamedy gets his place back at right wing back after Odeboji gave away the penalty, even though he also got an assist, he gave away the penalty, which I can't be dealing with. Uh, Rami and Maguire stay as the back two and Robertson sits at left back. Same midfield three. Same front three, um, Munir comes back because of Marin is ineligible to play against his former club. A former club? Parent club. Um, that's the bench. Bardi goes on to it. Calgary's back from injury. That's about it, really. Um, Chelsea line up in a more attacking formation than us, as you'd expect. But, it's just, I mean, pretty much team... John Terry, he must be pretty ancient now. 36, he's not going any pace. Heisier, don't have a clue who that is. Elisid Heisier, I mean, he looks good. Wish I hadn't looked at him now. Uh, they've got Nathan Redmond at right wing, interesting. And Berahino up front, who is, as probably most of you know, incredibly overrated in this game compared to current form in real life. Uh, there's the bench. Fabregas is probably the standout player that's on there. Yeah, same old, same old. Get the assistant to do that. I'm going to tell them... Just go out there and play without any pressure. There is nothing to be concerned about if we get smashed here. Because Chelsea are third and are on a very good run at the moment. Okay, they're fourth. But if they win this, they'll go third. Um, but yeah. I mean, we're doing well, actually. Looking at it, we're doing really well. We're 
What's that from safety? We're seven points clear of safety. Um, but really, oh, Chelsea are in. 1-0, William. Brilliant. I was just talking then because it was the first kickoff highlight thing. I'm not too sure what Matthew Ryan was doing. So Nathan Redmond puts in Willian, and I was generally chatting about now, looked up. Matthew Ryan, what the absolute crap is that? What is he doing? What is the... Like, I mean, he's come out. Just just catch it. It wasn't hit very hard, was it? Just, just pull it out of the air. Don't palm it into your own net. I mean, it's probably goalkeeping 101, really. What should you do if there's a cross? I'm pretty sure the coach would say, just, just don't hit it into your own net. At least he saved that one. If he's not in right in front of his own goal, he's all right. I mean, what I, I don't know what he was doing. It was, it was rubbish. It was amateur, and he is not an amateur. He's an, on loan at us to be amazing, not amateurish. Anyway, that's ran over. Sorry. Uh, here comes Chelsea again. Matic to Kante. As Pelaqueta, he's got acres of space. Kante, Hazard. Oh, good save, Ryan. He's done really well. He's done really well there. We'll we'll let him off. But he's meant to save that one. Sanchez, no trouble. Boot it away. Has anyone else noticed in Football Manager 2017 how... I mean, they don't have one right now. But how overpowered Cesar Azpilicueta's long throws are for Chelsea. I mean, it's insane. It's absolutely insane. Whilst, but ignore that. We're on the attack. Sinan. Hernandez out wide. Not really where I want him. I want him in the box. I mean, he's got into the box. He's done really well. Oh, straight out Courtois. Well. Hernandez did well. He did do well. I mean, he's somewhat overrated in this game as well. I don't know if it's just the system we play gets the most out of him, but we'll come straight back to that point because it's Sanchez on the edge of the box. Sanchez into the area. Sanchez. It comes to Rami. Oh, Rami. I mean, he didn't need to put it in the top corner, but the centre back has finished that delightfully. Let's have a look at that in glorious 3D. I mean, Sanchez gets it at the edge of the box, beats one, gets sort of tackled, and then Rami. I, I, he did not need to put it that. I could just hit it down the middle, mate. Just make sure. Not in off the post. That's a bit of fancy. Especially for a centre-back. Right, it's half-time. That's completely flown by. 1-1. One, one. What a really good game. We're playing really well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell them that. I'm happy with your performance. Keep it up. They should all be delighted. Crack on. Carry on, boys. Don't don't change anything. I mean, they've had five shots and five of them been on target. We've had three. Three of them been on... All three on target. So really, we're not getting outplayed massively. I'm worried about... Yeah, pushing the fullbacks on a bit too much at the moment, but um, they're not going to score again straight from kickoff, are they? They're not going to score again. It can't happen twice in a game. Well done, well done, boys. Happy to see that highlight out. Our, both our wingers are playing really badly, and El Mahamedy is having a shocker as well. So, because the fullbacks are so overpowered, I'm actually going to change the fullback and bring on Odebarjo. Um, and I'm going to leave it there. Sinan hasn't got long left in him. And it will be uh, Caglieri on for Sinan. But really, this is a decent performance so far. Here we go. Azpilicueta long throw. Headed clear. That's all right. That's fine. Back to Azpilicueta. Rami with a good header clear. Sinan flicks it on out to Munir. Munir back to Hernandez. That, what is, what's that? He's got an easy pass out to the left of Robertson. And now we're probably going to cock this up because we're bloody whole city and that's what we do. Ryan hoofs it clear. Terry with an easy header because Hernandez thought he was going to miss it. But Fernando's picked it up. That's what he's in the in that holding midfield role to do. Like, oh, again. oh, Hernandez. Hernandez has pounced on it. It's a Zuma mistake. Hernandez one on one. Courtois, you bloody Belgian good goalkeeper. Odebarjo. He's in. Oh, Zuma. Sanchez. It's come to the edge of box. Sanchez. What is he doing? Just shoot. He loves a goal from there. Oh, Sanchez. Letting me down. Right. I think. Uh, Sinan has run or 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 Munir. Nah, Sinan was the one I was always going to do originally. So we'll get Caglieri on for Sinan and hopefully inject a bit more good wing play in our team. I mean, that's, that's what managers want, isn't it? Good, good wing play. That's what you look for in a team. Sanchez has burst away from whoever that was. Odebarjo. Odebarjo into Caglieri. Back to Odebarjo. Can he get a cross in? Odebarjo cross. Yes. Uh, Mopped up well by Kante and Fabregas, who's on, has played that away. And Berahino's there. Oh, 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 what a barjo. Don't say you've just smashed him with two feet or something. Oh, he loves a yellow card, says what a barjo. At least it's not a red. Hopefully, nothing will come from this. Fabregas swings it in and Odd barjo with a header away. Caglieri. Hernandez is the counter attack on. It's a hopeful pass. I mean, John Terry's so slow. 
Who's is that? Was that me near? Oh, put some bloody effort in, you absolute dickhead. Anyway, as Bilaqueta brings us away, Hazard. Munir, that's better. That's better. And then he's put a good ball through to Hernandez. And he's looking for Cagliari. Oh, what a rocket. Get in there, son. He's a, t I say rocket, typically placed finish. Shows how much you get from 2D in this game. But 3D will show us how he's placed that magnificently. Munir heard me bollocking him from the sideline. Hernandez, oh, the defender should really do better. Courtois, no chance. As per Lequeta, that was rubbish. Absolute rubbish. But we are beating Chelsea 2-1. This is... This is mental. What do I do? Viewers, what 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 do I do? We're two one up against a team that are currently fifth in the league. I'm not I'm not gonna change anything. Is that the right thing to do? Just keep it going. Munilo heads to Kante, Willian. It to Kennedy. Kennedy against Robertson. And he's put a good cross in, bearing it Oh I should have changed something, shouldn't I? Probably have gone slightly more defensive. I hate Berahino in this game. I mean, I'm sure he's a lovely person in real life. But I just hate him in this game. He's so overpowered. I mean, we haven't even gone to a replay yet. Oh, there we go. Kennedy against Robertson. He, oh, he's... oh, Matthew Ryan. Come and claim it or punch it or something. Oh, that was just an all-round bad goal. Bad management because I didn't go more defensive. Bad defending from Robertson because he didn't block the cross. Bad goalkeeping from Matthew Ryan because he's let Berahino go in first. And now they're bad sportsmanship because they're rubbing in this celebration really i think this has gone on far too far too long i'm not going to press the skip button football manager as much as you want me to oh god i'm pressing the skip button oh there we go i didn't have to press the skip button in the end right 10 minutes to go have, have we got any players on the bench that could change the game for us william into berahino hazard oh for f**k's sake Unbelievable. I mean, I was just going on about what is that? What is that flick he's done there? Fucking Berahino. Absolute toss pot. He's, oh. If I ever manage Berahino in this game, he's never getting an England call up. If I'm ever England manager, he's never playing in my teams. He's getting sold to the lowest bidder because that's how much he's annoyed me. Right. Eric Durham's going to come on. We're going to shove Odebaju on the right wing, Kelly on the left wing. Oh, come on, boys. Right. Push slightly higher up. Let's get stuck in and get the ball back. Right. Come on. Come on. We have, like, three minutes to save this. I still want to... Oh, we're not even really controlling the possession, so... Get them on attack. Oh, this, that's it. That's it. We have thrown that away. Are they going to rub salt into the wound? Rami gets it away. Fabregas on the edge. Needs a tackle. We need to get it forward. John Terry. Kante. Kennedy. Right, that's it. Shocking. Oh, do I blame myself? I should, but I don't. Do I blame all the players? Yes, I do. Because that is what a manager does on a game like this. Obviously, that was all my fault. I should have gone a much more defensive 2 1 up and about 10 minutes to go. But don't look back. We're just unlucky. I'm not going to. I should slate them, really. Because we've thrown away a good lead. I mean, Chelsea deserved it. Looking at the stats. But Abel Hernandez, man of the match, we are 14th, edging closer to the relegation spots. We'll be all right, won't we, folks? We'll be all right, I think. There's seven games to go, so we'll come back end of the season. I imagine last game in the season, whoever that may be. But thank you very much for watching. Check out my Football Manager 17 save. And, um, yeah, leave a like if you like the video. And I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Cheers.